Sell One believes in the more, the merrier this year by giving you $100 off all smartphones and tablets. And for new customers, you get the first month free. Sell One's got the best deal. Sell ends December 31st or while stocks last. Sell One, the power of more. There's only a short time left before voters decide who runs the country. Hello and welcome to News Bite, the Bermuda Sun's weekly news wrap-up for Friday, December 14th, brought to you in association with Cell One. I'm Michaela Pearman. Who will be our leader on Tuesday? In the final days before the election, some predict the PLP will stay in power. Others say it's the turn of the OBA, but most agree it'll be close and that there's a lot at stake. Party leaders gave their final messages in Friday's Sun, with Premier Cox telling voters that progress towards a better Bermuda has been steady but not without missteps along the way. Craig Cannoner writes that the OBA is committed to economic and social equity for all. Polls open at 8 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. Make sure you've got your photo ID on you. For a list of polling stations and locations, visit bermudasun.bm. The weather's predicted to be dry and breezy on Election Day, something that will likely help with voter turnout. Our team of reporters, myself included, will be working hard on Election Day to bring you the latest accurate information We'll have a live blog, results, an election day photo gallery, and lots and lots of stories. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, too. Remember way back in November when Premier Paula Cox announced the election day? Since then, we've gone from puppet ads to secret reports, a candidate's arrest, resignations, watched the parties go back and forth on issues like the Aquatic Center and unemployment, seen the UBP disappear, read countless tweets and Facebook comments, and a few Facebook rants, Politicians danced on stage, one stormed out of a press conference, and now we go to the polls. There has been a lot of news out of the overseas territories. Cayman Premier Makiva Bush was arrested on Tuesday as part of a corruption investigation. He's now been bailed until February of next year. What's bad for him might be good for us. Business Bermuda Chairman David Cash says some Cayman-based businesses could make the move to Bermuda if the country has more problems. And former Turks and Caicos Premier Michael Misik was also arrested recently. He faces charges relating to corruption and maladministration. Turks and Caicos recently had their own election, with the Progressive National Party squeaking through to victory. But the TCI Weekly News editor says they could learn lessons from Bermuda and return to the stage of full internal government just short of independence. Back here at home, did you have a favorite campaign ad? Media experts we spoke to called both campaigns predictable and disappointing. Rona Emerson said the parties are missing that emotional connection with voters. And Chris Gibbons warned that the sheer volume of opinions on social media may have had a numbing effect. Can't be bothered to vote? Meredith Eben reminds us that voting wasn't always an option. Read her column about how tough it was to achieve voting rights for all Bermudians. Don't forget, The Sun publishes on Tuesday next week. We'll have a special edition of the paper just for the general election. In Milestones this week... Happy birthday to Dante and Jameer Durham. They turn 18 on December 8th, and their mom, dad, sister, and brother say it seems like they just entered the world. Now they're two grown adults. Marlena Ortega celebrated her sweet 16th on December 7th. Her mom, dad, brother, uncles, nieces, and friends wish her a happy belated with love. And Judith V. Wolf's grandson's family and friends wish her a happy birthday on Wednesday. They say that she is truly blessed, and they honor her. Of course, we wish them all a happy birthday as well. We thought we'd end this time taking a look back at the lead up to the election, from the Premier's announcement to Thursday's gathering of the independent candidates. That's all for this week. Catch me on Channel 82 over the weekend. For these stories and so much more, visit bermudasun.bm. News Bite was brought to you in association with Cell One. I'm Michaela Pierman. See you next Friday. One believes in the more, the merrier this year by giving you $100 off all smartphones and tablets. And for new customers, you get the first month free. Sell One's got the best deals.
sale ends December 31st or while stocks last. Sell one. The power of more.